All right, um, I wanted to show you a trick with some three terminal regulators. Um, I've got a bunch of them here. I've got a 7808, 78L12. Here's a, here's a five volt jobber. Here's a standard one, so it's an adjustable one. Uh, low power, little TO92 ones. So uh, yeah, negative, negative ones. Here's a 12 volt. Uh, and 15 volt positive, 12 volt, 15 volt negative. So I got a bunch of them, but I want to show you some tricks today um, that you may or may not know. So here's a regulator. Uh, this is in, and this is out. So this could be like a 7805, and it'll give you five volts on the output. Um, so the data sheet says you can put some capacitors here. They're not necessary if they're next to things. So those are kind of optional. You can also put an optional um, diode over here to protect it from on off spikes and stuff. And if you're really paranoid, you can, you can, put, a, uh, you can put a diode over here too to, uh, to protect things. So you can do all of those things with it. All right, so there's there's a thing called a uh, LM317, and uh, if you hook it up just like this, it'll output 1.25 volts. So it's basically a 1.25 volt regulator. And then you can do this to it. You can take the output and you can divide it, and it's adjustable. Okay, you can. You can adjust this one. Um, but really what you're doing is you're telling it, always make sure that the voltage between here and here, between the output and the adjust, is always 1.25 volts, okay? It always wants to see 1.25 volts there. All right, so we're gonna use a three terminal regulator in a different way, okay? Same, same regulator, all right? We're gonna use a LM, 17 and we're going to put a resistor here and we're going to do this so in and out what does that do well the LM317 looks at these two voltages and it has 1.25 volts there and we're going to put a resistor here okay we're going to put a 22 ohm resistor here so that means that we're going to have, um, this is here to here, so we have 1.25 across 22, 22 ohms, all right, 1.25, 22 ohms, oops, 1.25, 22 ohms, we're going to have 56 milliamps, okay? And um, this is a constant current, all right? No matter what the input is, it will always generate 1.25 volts across this resistor, and it will always generate um, 5.6 milliamps. So let's do that one. Uh, I built one up right here. Uh, so this is our 22 ohm resistor. I have an LED in here. So if we take uh, input and we ground the output, and we turn the power supply on, the LED lights up. And it doesn't burn out, because it's 56 milliamps. And is it 56 milliamps? Well, the power supply has a current meter in it. So you can see right there, it says 50, 55 milliamps, 56 milliamps, there we go. And we're inputting 10 volts, so uh, let's do 11 volts. That didn't change, let's do uh, eight volts. That didn't change. So it's constant current. Um, we used to use these all the time in LED land <laughs> back in the old days. We needed constant currents to drive, uh, to, drive, to drive LEDs. And we used this circuit all the time. Now, you could use a different regulator. You'll have a bigger voltage here. Like if you used a five volt regulator, you would have five volts across here. Um, it just means that you'll be dropping more voltage across the resistor and the resistor will get hot. You'll need a, you'll need a, uh, it's just wasteful. Uh, you'll have a higher amount of wattage uh, in that resistor. 
um, but with, with 1.25 volts and 22 ohms, you're not going to have um, as much power to dissipate in, in the situation here. So uh, there you go. It's a nice little, uh, nice little way of generating a constant current. You know, in the up to an amp, right? That kind of thing. You know, tens of milliamps to an amp, you know. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, if you're going to drive higher, uh, higher currents, then make sure you put your uh, regulator on a, uh, on a heat sink and make sure that you calculate how many watts of uh, resistor you need, right? This is just a quarter watt resistor. You might need a half watt. You might need a one watt resistor, depending on how much current goes to this thing.